All right, guys, so we're officially recording. And what I'm going to do is I just texted Bao. We're going to bring Bao on, and then we will talk about things that are going on in the market. But we'll give him a couple minutes to set up his mic. Dude, this is crazy. I expected something like this. People are just not scared at all of interest rate hikes anymore. They've been doing it. I mean, bro, if you go on Zillow right now, if I go on Zillow to get a home right now, I'm going to actually do this real time. The first interest rate that I can see, what are we looking at? We're looking at probably like 5.2%. And it's probably even higher than that now. And you know, they're raising rates and they're going to keep raising. So the point is, is like, it's already so priced in, in my opinion, that people are just not scared of it. Obviously they see how crazy inflation is, how much the economy is kind of, as much as people don't want to talk about it, and as much as Democrats want to lie about it on social media, dude, the, the, we're in a fucking recession, bro. Like shit is out absolutely terrible in the real world, but not on the screens. And a lot of this is priced in, a lot of fear. They printed endless amounts of money. So all you have to know is that it's a really weird time to be an investor or to be any type of long-term trader right now. But the day-to-day -day lines, guys, on small caps and things like Alex's watch list, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, line to line, every single day, whether the market goes down or up. What's up, Val? Every day, we have opportunity in small caps. So if you're kind of like new to you know long-term options and things like that, maybe you just pump the brakes for a little bit and learn small caps if you're not comfortable with all this volatility. All right, hold on one sec. Let me bring on Val. One second, Val, let me find you. There you are. Back there. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, what's up, buddy? It worked on the first try. <laughs> I know, man. That's a, this. That's some good vibes only, right there. Only took four years <laughs> <laughs> to learn computers. <laughs> oh shit! How you doing, man? Good, man. Hard, but showed up. <laughs> Dude, me too, man. I'm exhausted today for some reason. I don't know what it is. Maybe the midweek kind of stuff, but. Uh, yeah, FOMC. Guys, guys, so that's the thing, man. We are all tired as hell. We have to put in an effort. So those that are watching right now, I know trading is difficult. There are going to be rough patches, but you just have to show up, man. First step is showing up. If you stop showing up, that's when all that that's when you start losing it, man. Because you have to be in it and watch it every day. And you know what? You have to learn the ups and downs. You can't just come every now and then and expect to make money. That's not how it works. Now, it's, it's funny that you said that because, bro, literally, I think the first 20 minutes of before I actually started this webinar, I gave a whole talk on the power of consistency. And, dude, it really is just about showing up every single day. And, it could, dude, it could be your health. It could be your relationship. But it's consistency, man. There's no difference in trading. The people that show up every single day, I mean, there's, there's a direct correlation to seeing the results. I mean, there's a reason why James and Tom and the hardest workers, the guys that watch the most videos and then, and then talk to their tab partner about it. These guys are kicking ass. You need to also, um, it's discipline, man. You have to have the fucking discipline to show up with, even when you don't want to show up. Hell That's yeah. how life works. That's how life works, man. If you want to make this successful, show up, do what it takes to show up. Well, and, and, it, and, and it, isn't it funny that like, you see these guys like Grant Cardone or Kevin O'Leary and all these big wigs, even multi-billionaires say the same shit, even at their level. It's like, there's days where they don't want, like David Goggins, there's days where he doesn't want to work out. And then he looks in the mirror, he's like, you're not a little bitch. And then he goes and works out. Like, it's not just, it's at every level of success, man. Like, if you don't feel like doing it, go fucking do it. So what do you want to talk about, guys? Do you have any questions for me and Bao? Do you, uh. Any questions? Now's your time to ask questions to see what the club has to offer. Maybe talk about what ran today, things like that of that nature. So what do you guys want to talk about? Or we could just rant on some stuff. You know, you we can go through, we can go through some charts that I posted, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. You want to, you want to post them in here, Bell, and we can talk about them? Um, you guys will have a stock in particular you want to show? Do you like trade it or not? Yeah. Which one, which one are you guys talking about? We can go over the watch list if you want. Want to start with the watch list? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. So I discussed this a little bit earlier, guys, but as you can see, this is one of the best 
and 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 just the most efficient resource at MIC. So if we go through the list today, you know, this is Alex's watch list. We post this every single day, unless Alex is on like vacation or something, you know, within you know, in an outlier. He's doing this every single day and he's explaining what the MIC process is. So the first thing of today was obviously SNOA or SNOA. And what we can refer to this as is a low-hanging fruit on what's called day two from the day that it ran on day one. And on day two, what we look for is outer lines. Unfortunately, this didn't really hit outer lines within the time frame that we trade, which is the first hour. So you can actually draw a line to see within the realm of what that first hour is. And then the lines were actually, uh, what, he, what he wanted was 350 to 370. So if we make it simple, these are the lines to scale for short. Didn't reach that. Okay, moving on. Um, RDBX. Again, you know, this is day three of a run that, you know, kind of ran, it bled off. Um, Alex was talking about no real chance to short this yesterday until the afternoon, ideally 750 through 840 levels with an 860 stop. Um, again, one of those days where it's not, it just didn't really reach the levels as much as we wanted to. Um, and the thing about process and like Bao just said is consistency and discipline is if you're disciplined for your lines, then you trade when those lines hit. If the lines don't hit and you don't trade, now there's no winging it. There's no sporadic losses. You're not even taking a loss. That is the key to getting good. FRGE, we were not interested in the short. Wait, wait, wait. go back. I, I created RDBX. RDBX. <laughs> are, are you stuffing your face right now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, did I get it? Let's see what Alex, Alex says. Um, Look what he said. Ideally, seven fifty. Look where I shorted in the morning. Hold on one sec. Uh, going back to the watch list. Here, I'm going to screenshot this guy. Hold on, let me just so I can bring it actually into the webinars channel. I posted it into the webinar already, bro. Oh, okay. Here, I'll just okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see that. So it says seven fifty, right? And so this is what I did, guys. That's oh, wow. you hit it. You hit it a little bit later, though. Uh, no, dude, this is at at the open, bro. Oh, oh, you scaled from seven twenty though. I was I was looking, thinking that was right there. Okay. Oh, that's because this is this is why. Um, you know, people have different lines, and depends on how aggressive or not. I based this line on the pre market high. I see what you did. So the eight p.m. It was seven thirty, right? That was hitting right here, this general area, using this as resistance. Okay. Yeah, I thought I don't know why I thought that was right there up there for some reason. Yeah, so that's all I did. I kept it very simple, guys. I looked at the pre-market high and I scaled that because <clears throat> I started scaling that, and then uh, I would, in this case, if it had went, I would probably add one more time at seven fifty and then stop out if it went back further. But then notice, notice lines work, resistance lines work. It fucking dude, that was a huge resistance right there. And I was able to make pretty decent money on that. It's always good, man. So, sometimes I'm a little bit too fearful on a low hanging fruit to hit that low. Like sometimes I want much higher, but I feel you about there. That was that was good using the because because it's defined risk, right? Like you can literally just use the pre market lines. If it breaks, it breaks. You yeah. cut, and if it doesn't, you you. It's this, like a four to one. This is the easiest type of trade that you can get, in my opinion. Basically, an outer line. We always talk about outer line, right? Every single week, outer lines. Exactly right here. Let me put on the uh, let me put on the pivot points about real quick. Yep, yeah, right there. Can join with a pivot line too, so you could give that a little leeway, dude. I'm telling you, nice job, nice job. All right, let's see what was the next one. FRGE, as Alex said, not really interested in the short, as for good reason. This just didn't really have an edge, squeezed up like crazy. Unless you're an idiot and just held on and then hoping, yeah, you got bailed out, but that's called bailed out. We don't play that shit. Uh, SATL, let me take these off. I didn't trade FRGE, I didn't trade SATL. Has a PR with SpaceX in it, tanked pre-market, but the news can be pumped, pretty much ignoring this on the short side. We talk about this all the time, guys. If you have a massive company in the news or the rumor or like Bill Gates or Elon Musk or military, sometimes we're a little bit cautious as this can totally squeeze based on, you know, real news or at least a hint of real news. So things like that it just didn't, though. It just freaking died off. No real edge in this. Um, yeah, no, no chance to short. There's no locates, no chance. 
RSVN, not interested in the shorts yet, need to go way higher, maybe three plus. Alex was definitely right about that. When you see a stock like this, guys, we talk about two things, side chicks and hot chicks. So we go real time. If you're going pre-market and you see a stock that's higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, uptrending, like a, literally like a staircase, like just a slower staircase, this is a stronger stock. This is not just going to tank at the open and just bleed most of the time. This is actually called a hot chick. This is something that still has attention and it did exactly that. It was a headache for shorts. You trying to time this would have been very hard. Um, later as it goes through VWAP, that's a different story. But as you can see, by the time it starts breaking down, it was already in a zombie hour and it was just one of those ones where, you know, I mean, I, I don't know about it. Did you trade this one today? Yeah. Let's see what you did. Uh, you fought it a little bit, huh? Well, it was very small size in the beginning. It, it shot up and I'm okay with that. So you notice I stopped out, right? Yep. Uh, so in the morning, I pretty much was even on it and I waited for it to make a bigger move. And once again, this was a, a farmer was pumping it. So a chat room guy was pumping it. And so I was like, Okay, man, he was going to pump this shit. When he walks out, it's going to tank. So really, did, and so that's all I did. That's exactly what it did later, yeah. Oh, man, Bal, if you were just a little bit more patient, bro, this would have been a sick-ass trade starting right here and up here. Well, you take a look. Well, I mean, I did, I did do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, but, I mean, this is the key, guys. This, this is the difference between front side and back side. Yeah, these are all, like, pre uh, before the before zombie time, so. Yep. Uh, let's see, what was, I think there was one more on the watch list and it was OST. Let's talk about OST. OST, ignoring the short, way more room for it to go down than this. This is just non-niche, which exactly yeah. what it is. I mean, this look, looks almost like- I, 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 I wanted OST so badly, but we gave zero opportunity. I located yeah. a bunch and so I lost one location. And that's, part, look guys, like as, as good as this watch list is described in detailed, this is as powerful. And I want to make this very clear. This is as powerful a written watch list as a day where every single line hits and everything in Gorgeous according to plan. And Alex makes 200 grand. This is a day where you don't break rules and you be patient for the lines. If they don't hit, you don't trade. It's not like every single day the watch list is going to be the most profitable thing in the world. This is the point to that. What the hell? Connection loss. All right. Did you guys hear that? Did I lose you? Now you there? Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. I think I think my mouse lost connection. I was like, I hope I didn't lose connection to the webinar. But dude, that's the point. So like, just because you don't make money in a certain day by like, you know, maybe reading the watch list or doing whatever you do, like, that's okay. People forget that this is a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, maybe only trading two times a week and it's profitable versus trying to milk out little money every single day and then losing three days a week. It's, it's draining to your mental capacity. So you know, there's a lot of ways to look at this, but I agree. Thank you, Bono. I think that was it. Uh, number, there's other people. There's other people besides the Alex that makes watch lists. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we can go through that too. Take a look uh, at Tom. I posted Tom's. Guys, so Tom was looking at STSS, one of our other moderators, and he said, broken day one, 1 1.5 to 1, 170, nail and bail at the open. Um, and exactly actually what it did. It was kind of low hanging fruit, a little bit illiquid for me, but Tom liked it. Um, and in the morning, obviously 150, 170. So if you scaled this wick right here, you would have gotten a nice cover there. Um, sure. and plus, did you trade that? Yeah. Nice. So I'll explain to you what happened here. So STSS did exactly what the top watch list did. It's a low hanging fruit. And so what happens is we, we scale into the low hanging fruit, we covered. Neil and Bill, right? Made pretty good. The problem is I got greedy and a, and a fucking zombie. And so low-hanging fruit zombie is rare, but it fucking happens. So be very fucking careful. And so that's what you saw now. It's like the tale of two cities kind of shit, right? Uh, before zombie hour, easy, easy money. Walk the fuck away. Stay during zombie hour, you get fucking zombie. By the way, guys, this is, this is what Val's talking about right here. This is the easy money. And it aligns with exactly what I talk about every single week, which is one of my favorite setups for small caps is doesn't even touch VWAP for like an hour or so, opens far, bounces up to VWAP. This is your scale zone right there. And then you can get that one move that's pretty, look, there's nothing guaranteed in trading, but you have pretty fucking good odds to get one nice um, scalp and then cover that. And then as Bao said, this is where it gets more tricky. This is the tricky move. You know, maybe you fight, have to average fix a little bit or you get squeezed a little bit, but this is that like almost guaranteed scalp that you can get in the morning, man. That first one. And just, you can be done.
The new guy who's trying to build an account, this is what you focus on right here. This is what that new guy who's really trying to get his confidence up and not toe the line too much and really just get that win every single day. This is that move. Me and Joe have given endless webinars on that first one. Yeah, I see what you did, Val. And then if you wanted to, which I, I know um, Val is really good at doing what he does, guys, and being a little bit more um, risky on the scales or a little bit more um, comfortable with the range and the volatility. What you can do is get that first scalp and then wait for the blow off, wait for all this massive blow off. And then once you see this major top in, then you're doing exactly what Val does later, which he's also really good at. He just does it all is you can mitigate all of this and actually just wait for these. So wait for the pops after a major broken <clears throat> top back in the yeah. resistance. So what, what happens, I, I usually fuck on the middle because I don't think it goes that much, but it always goes that much. So, right. So avoid that shit, wait for it to top out again. So that's what maybe I'll do. So, you know, just avoid fucking zombie hour shit. This is all zombie hour shit, right? So this is an example of yep. you make money the easy way, get the fuck out. Nice job, Tom. This is Tom's chart, guys, that he posted on the watch list. This is great. Like he said, man, the 150, the 170 right there at the VWAP. Look, it's trading way under VWAP. It's trading far from the open and still way under VWAP. It hasn't touched for like an hour or so, two hours. Boom. That launch, that jump up to VWAP is very, very good indication that you might get a really good short scalp. And it's called an outer line. So if we if we minimize this, really... And we bring this up to about 170. That's the scale zone, guys. That's it. That's the money maker right there. But it's up to you to take the money and then walk the fuck away until yep. the massive top is formed and then you hit resistance point. Like Val said, this is the middle. This is the shit where you give back this, you lose here, probably even more than you made here. And now you're fighting yep. the rest of the day. Yep. Exactly what happened. Yep. So, you know, my trades are not perfect. I'm human just like you guys. So I'll show you guys. You know what what can go wrong if you fucking break the rules dude i think i think that that's the superpower of bow's teaching ability is because he does everything he's going to show you the strengths and the weaknesses in the process of the stuff that he even knows he probably shouldn't have done did maybe he made some money on maybe he didn't but he's going to show you why it's either right or wrong and then he's going to really show you what he did great on it so so that's the beauty of bow's teaching style guys he does oh. so much so let me tell you about the long side watch list people ask. It's hard to do a long watch list because you don't know what go long until, until it comes. And so in the morning, what we do is we, we, we call stocks hot chicks. So those are the hot plays that shorts should avoid. If shorts are avoiding, those are the longs. Longs should look at the hot chicks. So that's, your, that's your watch list. Hot chicks, the longs avoid, or the long watch list. Absolutely, man. I couldn't agree more. Um, did, did Akon, hey, let's see what Akon did. Oh, did, we didn't even cover that yet. Oh, uh, that was another one. So that was the other one on Tom's watch list. Akon uh, was a broken day one. 220 to 250 was the scale. So again, again, it's the same exact example. So let's go through this step by step exactly what Tom was saying. You have a stock that launches pre-market at least a little bit, right? It's way under view up. It hasn't played ping pong with view up, meaning it hit, 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 or go through and back down. It's way under. It opens far from highs and it launches to VWAP. This was mine and Joe's outside of Death Candle's favorite strategy in small cap. So if he's looking for the 220, which is basically VWAP, so you can kind of say right here, upwards of 250, which is outer lines and room enough to scale. That's that guaranteed move that we're talking about. And then this is that middle part where you really can get into trouble. But if you can just delib like deliberately and consistently take this money and run, the new guy is going to build a trading account very quickly, focusing on just this, as Bao was literally just saying. So that was Akon as well. It was almost like mirrored exactly to STSS. If we go back... So it's, if you take a look at it, I did the same fucking mistake on Akon as STSS. I made money the easy way. Did very nicely. You saw that in the morning. Oops, sorry, but that one second. And then it zombied up, and then I got lucky. But you know, uh, you guys are new, for you guys are new. Don't fucking start shortening zombie art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly what Val said. He got caught a little bit in the middle, but he managed to do it nicely, cover, and then reattack when that resistance was there, uh, based on this one, and then actually do really well on these exits. But that middle is the hard part, right? Yeah, it's just the, the fucking, it's hard for me to sit there. I mean, I can get myself out, but it's stupid, right? So I need to fix that part of me and I'll be, 
I'll be making money much easier. There's many ways to make money. I'd rather make it the easy way, guys. So well, in, the and, morning, in the morning is very easy for me, and that's what new traders should do. Focus on the easiest setups. Guys, Not when you're fucking zombie. Dude, when you're brand new, your charts need to look exactly like Tom Diesel's. When you don't have consistency yet, when you're not profitable, when you haven't built accounts or you're looking to build accounts, your charts actually need to look like this. The simpler, the better, because again, it's about discipline. If this is the guaranteed move to build an account, do this for 100 days. Get a PDT account and then start doing the stuff that Bao does. But the point is, guys, is keep it as simple as possible, man. Like you don't have the luxury. To, to do what Bao does when you're trying to find consistency in the dick and ball pattern. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that. I was like, dude, this is the best pattern ever. <laughs> um, Alex, Alex, good to review. Let's check this out. Fine. Okay, so for anybody who's actually wondering what this is, is a Nancy or a Girls Trade 2, one of our moderators, actually puts in the statistics of the watch list based on when the lines hit and percentages of how they worked. So the final results are in for March and April from the from 2022 watch list statistics. In March, 98.3% worked, 72% hit the line and worked, and 81% worked before zombie hour, 82 total trade ideas. April, 100% worked, 57.4 hit the line and worked, obviously, if they hit the line. Um, 71 worked before zombie and 54 trades total. Dude, that's sick. And then, and then here were Tom's statistics as well. So you guys can literally go through this and actually see that we statistically prove that the watch list works. I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're going to come in and you're going to be like, okay, so all I have to do is just copy the watch list. MIC is not a copy community, guys. The last thing we want you to do is literally not thinking for yourself, but technically speaking, yes, you could copy the watch list. I just hate saying that. Val, what do you think about that? Use just, the watch list as a guide, guys. Correct. How can you even copy the watch list? There is no, there's no entries, no exits. It says as a guide, right? It says, this is the area that I'm looking to do. The problem is this, man. Even if we give you the watch list has all these things, you can still going to fuck up human nature. You need to be able to have discipline to wait. How many people can wait and say, I'm going to miss this play? Not many, right? So you work on your discipline, guys. You work on your, you know, whatever you need to do. Meditate, whatever the fuck you need to do. Yeah. But you do not have FOMO and greed. Uh, people want alerts. Really? Do you really want fucking alerts? No, nah, dude, you're going to fucking lose if you get alerts because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Um, the watch list is a guide. Use that guide to learn, but you can make money off that guide. You figure out how Alex comes up with that stock selection, how Tom comes up with a stock selection. So learn stock selection through the guide at the watch list. Number yeah. two is figure out, figure out how they get these entries. Where are they drawing these lines? So that maybe you make up your own watch list to see if your watch list matches theirs. And so this is the watch list we created was more of an educational tool you know, I don't, I don't want to advertise the fact that, yeah, of course you can fucking use this to make money too, right? But that wasn't the point. We don't want you guys to just be blind sheep. We technically could market that way, but we don't because we're not, you know, asshole marketers, man. But I mean, look at the statistics, guys. Technically, you could copy us, but, but don't. Like, we want to breed successful traders who think for themselves. In fact, Bell, I always say, look at, the, look at the lines, dude. This is the shit you need to learn. This is a huge resistance point on the way up from this one. This is already topped in. Where do you think it's going to fail if it runs on a far distance? It's going to be right here. This is the shit you need to learn for yourself, not just follow blindly. You know what Use I mean? Use that to learn, guys. Use that to learn. Use it to figure out how we come up with these things. So basically, it's like, you know, it's like a cheat, cheat sheet each day for you guys to create your own. Technically, technically speaking, guys, the, the whole point of MIC is to come in for an annual membership, theoretically. And not need MIC by the end of the year. You, but you want to stay because why the hell would you want to leave the gym when you're learning basketball with everybody or weightlifting? Like you don't want to do things alone, but you're going to see the results with it. You give us a year's time and a work ethic. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to learn how to trade and you're going to, you're going to see some serious results in learning and or actual financial results. But the whole point is you're going to want to stay because it's a community. It's a club. It's like, that's you stay because you want to get uplifted and motivated from all the other traders that are doing good shit with you. So 
But the whole goal is to not need MIC by the end of the year annual. Technically speaking, if, if we all die tomorrow, not that we're going to die tomorrow, but I think the point is pretty clear on we make self-sufficient traders. That's why, that's why, again, I'll mention it one more time. We're not bringing back the monthly forever. This is just a one-week opportunity for people to, look, you guys literally have a timeline. The point is for everybody with a lack of resources or who truly want to join but haven't trusted us yet, and they just kind of want to give it a shot, this is your final entry point into the monthly. Just very quick. You get that opportunity. I came for the trading, but I stayed to see how Tom and James love story turns out. <laughs> That's exactly it. Rob, you've been here over a year, I think, right? Yeah. See, it's fun, guys. It's, it's fun. It's a community. It's a country club of education. It's, it's a good time. That's all I got to say. It's a good time. All right, let's see. I think we covered everything in the watch list statistics. We gave you guys the strategy of the morning, avoiding the middle, and then and then actually waiting for reversal hour for that. It's almost like step one, step two, step three. If you guys like mitigate and stay away from step two when you're building an account, you're gonna you're gonna see some real results in step one and step three, man. <laughs> all right, I wanted to talk to uh, so uh, those that we we uh, we partnered with Success Trader, as you guys know. Um, First of all, hopefully you guys are using it. And um, but uh, let me see, David, you around? David, Bobby? Yeah. So this is nothing to do with us. And so I wanted him to you know post this because he's working with them. Yep. So anybody looking for a job around in Miami and stuff, uh, there's a link on there that you can go and uh, maybe hopefully apply. So I we, have, we have nothing to do with this uh, in terms of hiring and stuff. So. Uh, don't ask us, <laughs> but we can give it uh, if for MIC members. State that you're an MIC member, maybe, uh, you will get a little priority. Yes, guys, do not send Alex your resume. <laughs> this is not this is send it there. <laughs> no, you were looking for like a personal fluffer though, or something, right? And your headshots. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. Not a headshot. <laughs> hey, you want that position of a headshot. Your resume for Bow is a headshot. <laughs> <laughs> you are one degenerate, man. <laughs> uh, Sean Marsh on YouTube. Can you talk about where you short the most size versus adding or building a position before the move happens? Let me go back to charting. Bow, you want to talk about that? You guys are overthinking this shit. <laughs> uh, first of all, okay, every trade needs a plan. Without a plan, do not fucking trade. Without a plan, all you do is winging it, gambling, okay? So do not fucking play without a plan. A plan includes where to enter. Entering could be multiple positions or it could be one bullet. We're going to exit for both a winner and a loser or a hard stop, right? So those are the plan. So what he's asking about, when do you enter the most size? You're asking a a generic question that in trading is very specific. If if your plan is to scale, then scale. If your plan is to accumulate, then accumulate. So you're asking a question where there is no answer, guy. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. That, that's what we say every week, guys. Let me ask you, it's like, how do I know when a move's gonna happen? So I'm gonna buy a million shares of a stock and hope it moves. You know, you can do that if that's your plan. But for me to tell you, where are you short the most size? What do you mean where to short? If I knew the top, I would short everything at the top. Why would I scale? Dude, so dude, what happens dude. is this, I draw my line and I scale around that line. Do the math beforehand. There's a position calculator you can use to figure out your average. So if you have 500 shares to use, use those 500 shares. Remember your plan could be dollar amount invested or number of shares. So however you, you define your system, right? So everyone's different. So I have a max number of shares I want to use. Dude, let me tell you something. If I knew Tesla was going to hit 940 today, I would have thrown my entire bankroll on margin at 890. Like the point is, guys, is stay away from the thinking or the mindset or the questions where you think it der derives one specific answer, like one plus one equals two. Trading is too complicated for that. It's if you think that there's truly one answer to a question, it's that doesn't exist. That's what all the fucking marketers and scam and frauds have taught you is that there needs to be one answer to this question. It's not like that. So, so we show you 
like Val, like you were saying, well, so we show you a setup that we tell you has extremely good odds of working like Akon on the VWAP pop in the morning shot. It is now up to you to figure out how to size this as per your account, but using the lines and using risk management and knowing that technically anything over VWAP should essentially be only 30% size. But what's your size? You might have a $200 million account or a $200 account. So the point is, guys, that's why it's so specific per trader, per situation, per comfort level. It's we. Th there really is no way to just say, hey, where do you throw the most size? We have, we have a video on how to properly scale for members. So yep. join MIC, guys. So let me ask you on YouTube. Let me ask the guys on YouTube right now. You guys are sitting around asking this question, and we opened up the monthly. What is stopping you from joining? The guys are on YouTube right now. That's a good question. question. Why aren't you in? You, you've been asking for monthly. We brought it back. So why aren't you joining? Because it's so damn cheap, man. You get all these things answered. You probably lost more today trading. And then, then the monthly for, uh, membership, right? Guys, $250 to get every single question answered for a month's time. And if you want to stay longer than that and get every single question answered for a year's time, you have that opportunity now. But the point is, is you guys got to invest in your education, man. Myinvestingclub.com slash spring. And this is going to take you to that page that I just showed to lock that in. And remember, right. remember, remember, we don't usually do this. So if you got on a monthly plan, now you're forever locked on the monthly plan until you cancel. So that's why this is so important for you to take into consideration right now is we don't bring this back once every month or two months. This is like. I, so I want to I, I want to really know from the YouTube guys. So there's like 40 guys and you watch the 67 right now watching on YouTube. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very curious. We're trying to help you guys. And I want to know what's stopping you so that we can figure out what we do on our side. Dude, Travers just said it better. If you lost more than $200 last month, there's zero reason not to join. Perfectly said, bro. So that's why I'm really curious. I, I, I have really no idea, guys. Um, what is stopping you? I'm, I'm really curious. I'm just from my own curiosity all the time. Because I'm like, yeah, that's same, a same. brainer, dude. Now you, how you, you went to the fucking clubs and you wasted a fucking annual membership. You bought some dumbass clothes that looked like shit <laughs> from, the <laughs> from the Kardashians or whatever the fuck you bought. You know, you can you can learn to trade and fucking buy all the clothes in the world you want. So that's the thing I don't, I don't understand. Instead, you you wait for every Wednesday so that we can ask one free question, <laughs> which you can be in the club and be a mentor. So I'm really curious because people keep asking us to bring back the the monthly, and we did. And so now, what is the what is stopping you? I'm really curious. It's so hard to please everybody. We try. We try. We really try. Guys, what's stopping you, man? Seriously. Uh, guys on YouTube. So, I mean, because um, every time you ask, uh, ask this question, we answer the question, no problem. But but before I could understand if you didn't have the funds, now you have a monthly plan. So, I'm just kind of curious. So, okay, next question, Tosh. Well, and, I, and really quick last thing is I love what Rob just said. I came in on monthly and up to yearly. People should definitely take advantage. Very glad I did. Rob, as much as I love to say that you're the only, dude, hundreds of members have done this. So awesome to hear, man. I mean, this is the trajectory. Get your foot in the door, see the resources, see how much help you're going to get and see what it's going to do for your trading. And like, guys, I cannot make this clear enough. MIC is tax deductible. We provide watch lists and scans. Between all of this, if you get Success Trader and use MIC routes, between all three trifecta, you're the, the membership's fucking free, dude. It, 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 you oh, just no. do the math. I mean, dude, I'm just asking you, how much did you spend going on dinner last night, drinking, and all this stupid ass shit? But you know what, man? I'm not here to fucking try to make anybody rich. You don't want to be, you want to be poor the rest of your life? You do it. <laughs> I, mean, I don't fucking know. <laughs> what drives me is, man, I'd rather sacrifice. I wish MIC was around when I started trading. I would be much better trader. I would fucking know about heart stops. I would know about lines. I would know all this shit. I would have to lose. That, that would be avoiding this this step two, the mid stuff. Seriously, dude. I, <laughs> that would only be focusing in the morning and the other day. Seriously, dude. I'm like, a, I have to learn this show on my own. And through lots of trial and error and losing my ass, you guys get the advantage of my experience and Alex's experience and all the mentors' experiences. So they don't have to repeat this shit. Yeah. Um, how much is the monthly right now, Gabor? Uh, two fifty to lock in this week, buddy. Two fifty a month. 
or if you want to go to annual or lifetime, uh, you can text me there. I'm also doing a promo for annual right now. So, but that's if you want to commit to the whole year. So just text me at. I, I, uh, people keep asking how much is it. Have you guys gone to the website? I mean, I don't know how many times I've posted this link. <laughs> uh, guys, come on. I mean, I just, I'm like, if you ask me where the fuck the website is, I don't want to tell you either. You should quit trading. Maybe stop going outside. Yeah. If you don't know, people ask, what's the website for myinvestingclub.com? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe maybe living is not in your thing. Maybe you just go to a, a home and get taken care of and fed like a vegetable. Like a living, assisted living. I mean, I mean if, I'm seriously, man. I'm not joking. If you, if you, <laughs> you, if you are if you are too lazy, go to the website. If you're too lazy, go to the fucking website. If you're too lazy to fucking find uh, to, to know what a website is, maybe trading is not for you. Seriously, because you're too lazy to fucking do anything. So. Maybe just give me every month like 200 bucks and save yourself 50 bucks. You're going to end up losing thousands of dollars on your own anyway. So, yeah. But anyways, um, I'm joking around, but you guys know, I mean, fuck dude. I, uh, I, I'm just really curious why people don't join. I'm, I'm, I see the same names uh, on YouTube and I'm pretty, if you're from a third world country, I totally understand, um, you know, 200 bucks. There's a lot before Americans, $250. I mean, for education, how much did you pay? Fucking going to community college. <laughs> yeah. well, Rob put put up a really um, actually good and interesting topic that I'll talk for a second because I take a lot of MIC calls with a lot of people looking in, and they're like, "I was scared of MIC in the beginning just because I got scammed by another scam group." Um, before MIC, the month they gave me a chance to see before committing if MIC was legit is basically what he's saying. That is I the get- absolutely right answer, man. That's the good. only reason exactly. Guys. Instead of trying to ask every question on YouTube, guys, and to figure it out before you, dude, it's two hundred and fifty dollars to see if we're quote unquote legit. Like, when, first off, when does an actual creator of the community call you directly? When does a community have twenty five plus moderators? When do they teach four different sector types, options, swing trading, you know, small caps, big caps? Um, Bao and I give free webinars where the creators at MIC, Bao has been training for two decades. Where do you find that anywhere else? I ask you that. And then, and then ask yourself if we're a scam, then ask yourself that truly, uh, partnerships with the best brokerages in the game with reputations decades, like just ask I mean, yourself the right questions before. But if you're you showing up, but the thing is, if you're showing up there all the time on YouTube, watching us and stuff, you should, that, that shouldn't be a fucking problem, man. You, if that's a problem, then you know it's going to be a problem for everything. Maybe you just fucking go lose money on your own. <laughs> I'm tell you. Yeah. Um, Two hundred fifty dollars is not. If I want to scam someone, I would, I'd be fucking. It'd be much more money and much easier. <laughs> I would be fucking holy webinar to try to get two hundred bucks from someone if I was trying. Bro, to you know what we would do? We would we'd create like freaking twenty thousand dollar packages and then freaking sell it like like, like those would be, that just got busted. I I would be sliding your fucking DMs offering one on one mentorship. And make more money. I'm not joking. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, the, pro- the problem is, is it's so easy to scam guys. And it's like, those guys get away with murder and they don't even know how to do it correctly. Could you imagine if we turned MIC into a pumping service? Oh my God, dude. Gee, they don't even know how to pump and dump. And they're the pump and dumpers. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I can't anyways, wait. I don't want to talk about that anymore because I'm really curious though. I mean, I mean, we, we started this monthly thing. I was hoping everybody would join on YouTube, but uh, I just don't understand. Um, I know that's what I'm saying. When you're a third world country, I feel very bad for you. And so that's why we have this stuff. Um, but if you're in the United States, there's really no excuses, man. I'm telling you right now, you you wish you had joined a year ago. Next year, you wish you joined today. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. I mean, every single year, guys, because we price raise on the annual lifetime, I get guys saying, I wish I would have went annual when it was XYZ price. I wish I would have went lifetime. I regret not doing it. Every single year, I get endless, endless like that. Endless. Uh, Stan, yeah, it's easier to complain than to do, definitely. The insights from the moderators' comments and charts to share in the main chat are amazing, not to mention the moderators actually respond to DMs when you have questions about stocks now promptly to respond to. You really won't find another service like this anywhere else. You have to be crazy not to at least try MIC. Donnie, that's great, man. Thank you. Also, guys, do us a favor. Click the like button. <laughs> I, know, I know it's kind of silly, but you know we, we, we always forget to ask our guys to click the like button. Guys, right here. We just, we just never really promote ourselves in that way because we're either dumb or just don't care. But seriously, guys, like help us out a little bit. Hit, hit that like. Yeah, it helps the algorithm. Hit the thumbs up, baby. 
Hey, we got 10, dude. <laughs> I know. Come on, dude. We got like 200 people plus. I, 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 okay, even in my see guys, what, every time you watch a video, click the like for us. And we'll just, it, like, smash the like button, baby. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost you anything, dude. But at least if you're watching it for free, give us one click. You know? <laughs> Ring the goddamn bell. What do these kids on YouTube say? <laughs> Oh man, um, guys, more questions. Any questions? Um, yeah, FCSS. Yo, Sean just joined. Sean Harrigan, done, paid, and active today. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Yeah. Welcome, Come welcome, welcome, man. Now you still train STSS? Oh shit! I forgot I was in it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That really good trade. Once you find out, it's that step three, right, guys? It's like, dude. This yeah, avoid avoid the second fucking trade during the zombie hour. Now what I'm gonna do next. Welcome, Sean. Awesome. This is just from YouTube right now, dude. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. So, um, Sean, um, how about this? You want, you want to bring Sean on the mic? Uh, well, I I think it would yeah. be hard for him to set up immediately. Okay. Well, I don't. Even I just know. want him to type something as to why he joined. I'm really curious. Uh, I appreciate him joining and everyone seeing it live that he joined. And so kind of curious if he, once he gets into webinars. Yeah, Sean, uh, you can even say on YouTube if you want, and I can post it in here if you're not set up in Slack yet. Like what, what helped you join so that we can know so that other people can see it too. Definitely. All right. So the guys that got paid any money and stuff, uh, hit up Tosh. You can always hit up Tosh. Tosh, remind them your number. Your number is also on the website. So right here, guys, we, we, do, we do, we do, we we do special things for special people so don't be afraid to ask tosh but don't tell anybody what we do for you <laughs> <laughs> seriously guys just text me 213-458 or save my number if you get paid in a month or you're waiting a couple weeks couple months whatever it is to get your resource just just save my number and just text me yeah. when ready like just this this, this way this way tosh has a list of your name so that fucking some random guy don't come back and say hey i, I told i talked to you tosh you know i know and that happens a lot guys and i talk to so many people i'm like Dude, I did not quote you at that price, motherfucker. I know. <laughs> hey, dude, you quoted me a lifetime for five hundred dollars. No, I did not. <laughs> like, I know some guys trying to falsify. Yeah, uh, dude, fuck. man, they falsify. <laughs> they, they falsify documents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, bro. Dude, I've seen some crazy shit, man. <laughs> like, oh yeah, God. Alice, that was cool. I, I have a free, a year free trial. <laughs> bro, I dealt with that like a week ago. Guy, I was like, oh my gosh, man. Well, I heard annual is like four hundred. I was like, uh, times like six. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Uh, the money. There's a couple reasons. Okay, you're paying not just for the education, but for the experience. But more importantly, guys, it's being serious. If you're, if I cannot be believe how many times I joined a fucking gym and never went to the gym, <laughs> you know, you, but if you know, you're paying that shit every fucking month, you either go to the fucking gym. So I gave so many of my friends memberships and they just don't do anything because <laughs> we don't value shit. People don't value free shit, man. You have some skin in the fucking game and that's it. And these are the minimal dollars amount, $200, 250 bucks a month. I mean, shit, dude. Well, and that's the because that that's the business model of like a food room or a or a gym. There's no difference. Their business model is actually churn and burn. They they are expecting you not to be active. They know you're just gonna get in and not do shit, dude. I'm gonna go over this again for you guys. The minute you join MIC, the minute you get get in. We have an announcements channel. We have a trading accountability channel. We have a new member channel, how to get acclimated. We have one-on-one -on -one mentorship. We are not expecting you to sign up for MIC and not be active. Like you guys have to understand, man, this is not a community where we want you just sitting on your laurels. You know, like the saying goes, we want you active. We want you doing things. We want you learning. We want you executing. The whole point of those business models is to get you in and not give a shit about it. You're a number. That's not the MIC business model, man. It's really not. Yeah, exactly. This is good. Any more questions? We can yeah, oh, all right. Yeah, time, guys. We got time, so. Tesla, baby. Let's go. Nice. I got some Tesla today. Let's go. Let's go. Austin is Tesla and spy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you should have just said the universe what I said. I'm very embarrassed this morning. I still am, dude. I'm embarrassed as fuck this morning. Dude. I'm like chilling, but hey, this is a ripstick kind of day. Uh, Tosh, what do you think about Spy 400? Is goodbye long term? You, I mean, I mean, dude, I just follow Warren Buffett's advice, man. It's hard to hard to lose when you play long term spies, man. Honestly, 
but that's more, that's more investing. You know, that's not really using a risk management type thing. That's just betting on the American economy. <laughs> when Tosh is bearish, I'm bullish. I'm telling everybody, anything you invest in, always have a risk plan. Yep. Okay. There's a point where you need to, when, before you get in the most clear head of you are, you don't want to be a fucking bag holder. When the recession comes, if it comes, it may last a day. It may last a year. It can last 10 years. You never fucking yep. know. Well, and here's the thing you guys have to anticipate, right? Like theoretically, SPY has been deemed one of the best investments of our, you know, of our time, right? But look, investors who were buying at 337 pre-COVID, dude, they were liquidating at 218. And then it went back. to So like, this is, it's what Bao just said, man. It doesn't mean, oh, I buy SPY tomorrow and it's, it's one of the best investment hedges of our lifetimes. And then it drops and you position incorrectly and you take an L or you don't believe in it because you're a panic seller. Like there's so many things that go into this. It, what can I say? Uh, man? It could go, it could, it could last like fucking two days, but it tanks like 40%, right? Yeah. Dude, dead. dude, you're look more- at Look at this COVID drop, bro. If three look at look, look at look at the Nasdaq during the dot com. Exactly, exactly. Now it's like, oh, technology's so good and shit. Amazon, I'm like, dude. Yeah, Stan just said it. You have to you have to plan even when swing trading long or short, guys. You you also have to have a plan. Risk fucking management, guys, because you can always get back in. But if you fucking hold, dude, you're you are dead. And, 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 and specifically, if you hold incorrect size, guys, even the guys that are all in SPY, like, look, I'm a big fan of SPY personally. It's my favorite index. Um, <laughs> I, I love it. I just buy any chance I can. But the point is, is I'm positioning in a way that even if it dropped to 218, like, I'd still be good. Like, you don't throw your entire bankroll in on margin. Then by the time it drops, like, you're dead. What if we go into a recession tomorrow? That's the point. That's the point. So, you know. There's, there's many ways to look at long-term stuff, but you guys have to be careful. And specifically when it comes to like day-to-day lines and stuff, that's what we're talking about. That's why you got to use our resources like watch lists and stuff, dude. Yeah, when, when Tosh liquidates is when Bows and I are buying. <laughs> Fuck you. Let me know, bro. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. <laughs> why, that's so fucking funny. But that's the indicator, though. You're, you're so bullish on it, right? So... So the, the max pain, the max loss is usually the, the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. For someone that's so bullish on something, 100%. Yep. But I positioned myself accordingly. I would never take a lot. I would never take an L on SPY. Like, that's how I positioned correctly. I would Are you going to ride it to zero? Fuck yeah, dude. Because if SPY goes to zero, dude, the American economy <laughs> and every company is in flames. Yeah, that's smart. So what he, what he did is, you know, he... he he knows, like, okay, man, what's the max pain you got, man? I'm just, I'm just making this up, okay? I don't fucking know, right? So let me pull up the chart for you, Tosh. This is just a five-year spy chart, okay? Where, where do you think the lowest will go? Oh, dude, who knows? I mean, if, if we had World War Three tomorrow, we could probably see under 200. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you're okay with holding it at 200? 100%. 100, I'd add. Good, good. That's all we need to know. So that's, that's the thing. Tosh has a plan. He is okay with losing half because that's money that he can afford to lose. That's what I'm saying. Bro, He's not margin. You're not margin, right? Oh, fuck no, dude. But you guys have to understand metrics of whatever you're getting into, whether it's Ethereum, Bitcoin. Dude, for 120 years, since 1984, the SPY has gone on a trajectory of up through every world war, Great Depression, everything. If you guys look at a chart on a one year, you're dead. If you look at a 10 day, you're dead. It's a 15, 20, it's a hundred year outlook. This motherfucker does not lose. But yep. you have to position yourself in a position to not lose. Yeah. If, That's- you're all, if you're all in at 480, it drops down. You may be uh, on social security by the time you get your money back. <laughs> Dude, that's what no, I'm, I'm saying. Just, I'm just telling you, bro. Uh, but the thing is, that's good, man. It's good to know that Tosh has a plan. And that's the thing. No one knows where the hell these stocks go, guys. I'm telling you right now. All you can do is be a risk manager. Another word for day trader is risk manager. Yep. Manage your fucking positions. Manage your risk. Dude, we're, pro- we're professional risk takers. That's what, that's what we are. Success Trader is the top preferred broker. Yeah. So go to successtrader.com. Hold up. Guys, let me show you again. Uh, looking through the... Uh... There. 
Do you have questions? Hit up David Bobby. Alex, your new daily five minute bids at market opener. Great. Nice. You guys are using the resources, man. You guys are using the resources. This is key. Is success trader the top preferred broker? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Betting against spy long term is pretty much betting against the economy in the future of the US. Couldn't agree more, Edge Stock. Anything says success trader, reach out to this guy right here. Send him a DM, guys. Send him a DM. Any remaining questions? Any last minute questions? <laughs> Bell, you're not stuck in anything, are you? I think you've pretty much cleaned house. Wait for the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating, my, I'm, eating my, I'm eating my food. <laughs> You've been eating for like an hour and a half, bro. What do you got today? What's on the grill today? Just like a salad, man. Nothing salad? Else. Yeah. I thought you had like a seafood tower, man. Guys, final questions. Anything questions? Anything about MIC related or trading? Hey, we can wrap up early if you want. Val, you have anything to rant on? Um, nope. Any questions? Hit up Tosh. Um, yep. He's looking for employment in Miami area. Hit up Broker Liaison and go to that careers website on the uh, – just hit up uh, Broker Liaison. He knows it. So. Yep, guys. Yep. Right here, uh, successtrader.com slash careers. Hit up Broker Liaison. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's, that's a really cool, new, exciting opportunity. Miami is like – the coolest place to live right now in the U S and also I think deemed as the most expensive state currently now. Uh, so, you know, you're going to get a lot of cool shit out there, but it's going to be expensive. So get it, go get a career at uh, <laughs> success trader, man. Thanks a lot. Cool, guys. Guys. We do this. Uh, so tomorrow, the next webinar is going to be um, Aloha Austin's on Thursday for the new guys. Yep. So really quick, guys, just one last time, uh, when it comes to a content structure, um, this is the stuff that you need to pay attention to. Alex on Monday is 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, Bao on IG Live on Tuesday, and me here with Wednesday, obviously right now with Bao. Uh, Thursdays is what Bao is talking about right now. So tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern market sentiment webinar, very good, very good for new guys finding their identity and trying to figure out just the ins and outs of how to start in the market. And then on the week, weekend, guys, we have the uh, weekend mentoring with Harry Haas and some of the moderators there to kind of depict your charts and just tell you, tell you what you're doing wrong. Look, we are here to truly mentor you. So we're not going to sugarcoat and baby you and be like, oh, good job. No, dude, you fucked up because of this and you did good because of this. You deserve a pat on the back, but we're not going to bullshit you. If you're doing bad, we're going to call it out so you can get better. And you should be tracking your own trades. Look, daily report cards, guys, download the template, go through here, track your own trades, and then give yourself a grade every day. And it's right here. Download it and track. That's the point. Put your charts up, give yourself a grade. How did I do? This is how you're going to get better. This is what we all did for many years. And we're still doing it, right? Val's got to, Val should give himself a B for hitting that mid. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was saying, um, dude, you keep hitting those mids, man. You got to give yourself a B minus. Seriously, dude. So, just, just, so, you know, every day you learn, guys, you either win or you learn, right? And so you can learn a lot. So that's why I show you my trades. My trades are not perfect. I suffer from the same inflictions that you guys do. FOMO, greed, fear, all that stuff. So um, I mitigate my risk well by having a max rated loss and keeping my sizes in check when I do fuck around midday. I swear to God, dude, Val would never take an L in the entire world if he just had like a notch degree better on patience because he's so good at trading. But I know his only problem is just a little bit of FOMO. Yeah, dude, I, Val, I have a lot of FOMO. I know you do. <laughs> uh, that's, that's because like I can get myself out of that situation. So that's like, kind of like a good and a bad thing. I know that I can get out, but I should not need to get out, right? I know, but that's what I'm saying now, because you should have that as a silver bullet. Could you imagine if you, if you very rarely got in a situation where you needed to use your expertise to get out, dude, you wouldn't lose. Yeah, man. Well, there were, there were years I didn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those OTC days, man. Well, the market adapts, the changes, all that stuff, guys. So you gotta be very, and a lot of times, man, I'm just sitting, I, I'm just sitting here all day to educate. So it's very difficult. Sometimes I want to leave, but I, I don't because that's how we do it at MIC. I stick around to educate you guys. Right. Um, 
other places. They had to take Trader Nap to do all the shit. But we, well, we, we I, 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 all day long, man. it's a really good example, guys, because you have to understand it. it's it, the, the, when Dow is in front of a computer all day. Think about putting in front of your five year old a plate of candy and like leaving the room. He's got access to it. It's right fucking there. He's going to take a trade like he's going to eat the Skittles like that's the whole point. So he's teaching you what to do and what not to do all day. So if anything, I think MIC actually costs Val money. <laughs> it, it does cost me money because I don't I don't want to be around all day bored and clicking shit, right? So so for me, I enjoy trading, guys. I I I have enough. I don't really need to. I just trade for fucking like entertainment and make money. Of course, to make money, but more importantly, as you notice, for uh, you can ask all the MIC guys. I'm here every fucking till the till the end, helping, educating, showing my charts. That's that's what that's what a good mentor does. So definitely all right guys i don't think we have any closing questions should we leave it at that this is awesome man this is a really hey welcome one. back tom tom 1944 oh where was tom yeah he i think he went he, he was away for a while and he came back tom o'rourke 1940 1994 that's 1994 <laughs> that's your birth year huh tom <laughs> i was gonna say tom you're younger than me <laughs> <laughs> Is it 1894? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but Tom, Tom is our one of our OGs, man, original guy. So back in the day. So Tom's an OG, he, man. He was in the boot cast. I give Tom a shout out. <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. I was like, I didn't realize Tom was younger than me. <laughs> man, that, that's funny, dude. Glad to see you around, man. Hey, Tay, Tay is back. Tay. Well, hey, guys, bro. thanks, man. Th thanks hey, for Tay, coming. Hey, Tay, Tay, you came in at the same time as Tom. What's going on? You guys together now? <laughs> What's going oh. on? <laughs> Wait, you're kind of together? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, we have we have all sorts of uh, members, guys. I'm telling you guys from from the from like dude, I've seen 15 year olds here, right? <laughs> to uh, to all un unlimited, man. Education oh, never stops. Now, guys. you know what my favorite oh. thing is, dude. You know what my favorite thing is about a 15 year old, 16 year old getting in MIC is they know they can't legally open an account for a couple of years. But guess what? That doesn't stop them because they know it's not get rich quick. They literally figured it out before they started trading that if I learn this skill by the time I'm of age legally and can actually open up a USA brokerage, they actually know what the fuck to do. Dude, I love when a 16-year-old hits me up and he comes and learns on a simulator, man. Maybe you should I, keep that under wraps for people can copy that, uh, that little bit and then change it around. <laughs> it's like, anyways, Tom. Yeah, seriously. No, no, I'm not gonna get there. Make sure you don't serve lemonade, okay? What do we do? <laughs> seriously. You ever seen that show? The which one? <laughs> the, the show with the lemonade. Uh no. Uh, to catch a predator. Oh, stupid. <laughs> I'm like, dude. <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, guys, um, tr you can be any age to come and learn, guys. Education is free. That's the point, uh, guys. So um, what, what, what happens is this, guys. People don't realize joining MIC is not just about trading stocks, but about joining community. There are so many awesome people here. You guys make friends around. You know, this is like uh, when we started this, man, do you remember it's a country club for everyday guy? Yeah, it's like where can we meet other people that have the same interests as us? I mean, there's solid people because when we get older, man, it's very difficult to meet new people. And so there's so within MIC, there's there's this community within a community within a community. You, get, you always have friends around the world. MIC is in pretty much like all over the world, guys. I agree. I agree. If you guys aren't utilizing our resources, you're crazy. I'm telling you, if if you have a 16 year old coming in here and learning for two years before he executes on on a you know a broker we can actually you know open one up then you guys have no excuse <laughs> like seriously oh man all right guys we'll leave you at that this was an awesome webinar i think we covered a lot especially that step one trade for short sellers looking to build an account if you learn one thing today man stock goes up pre-market breaks way down doesn't play ping pong ramps up here you scale correctly you take that quick money build a fucking account that way dude it's the quickest way to build an account other than that you guys can hit me up at 213-458-5997. Oops, sorry. 5997. Just text me, schedule a call, go to the website. Lastly, um, I'll go to MIC one more time. Click here to book a call with me. This is time slotted. I don't take random calls. I don't have time for them. But if you time slot a call, and this is on my Google calendar, 
uh, we're going to be able to talk and really get flushed out what you need and what you can experience and expect at MIC. So, you know, take us seriously. We'll take you seriously, guys, and we'll get you in the club. And we'd love to have you learning tomorrow or today even. So, Val, we'll catch you in after hours, buddy. Yeah, thanks, bro. See you guys.